Bengals obviously on Thursday night. So that's what we're into now. So we haven't had too much time to think about anything other than that. And uh, we just finished up our practice, and that's where we're at. Yeah. Sounds like in the NFL, a brief review of the Saints. I guess a little bit unfortunate. You can't say we're 47 if we open the it's just, it's a great league, you know, you, the, the games keep coming, not as quick as baseball or basketball, I guess, so, you know, this is this is close, though, so, we're excited, it's a big game, we're looking forward to it. Uh, to back up, follow up on that, uh, you did have an opportunity to rest the lot of the will that help or the Well, we'll see, you know, uh, you, think, you can't rest too many guys, because it's not like the preseason, you have your whole 90-man roster, or how many guys you the preseason game, it's still only 46 guys are playing, so just, a couple guys got to uh, sit down with the early and that's probably coming up. John, I think our, our, our sense was that all three of the corners played exceptionally well. Was that the tape trip too? Yeah, I, I think so. I, mean, I, I think everybody played pretty well. You know, the, the, uh, the opportunity, though, there's a lot of things we can improve on. Uh, we had communication issues, we had technique issues in different areas, all three phases. And really, that's kind of what you focus on. You know, you look at the good stuff and you go, okay, fine. But then you look at the things that you need to get better at. And really, between the first game and the second game, even though it's a short week, it's still a great opportunity to improve because you finally know where you're at. And when you know where you're at, you can kind of tell what, what you need to work on to get where you want to go. And uh, that's what we uh, we'll try to do this weekend, you know, the next couple of weeks too.